Hello students, today we solve few numerical based on application of Bernoulli's equation. So let's start. So, so let's start with this particular problem. Water is flowing through a pipe having a diameter 300 mm and 200 mm at the bottom and the upper end respectively. The intensity of pressure at the bottom end is 24.525 Newton per meter uh, centimeter square and the pressure at the upper end is 9.81 Newton per centimeter square. Determine in datum head if the rate of flow through the pipe is 40 liter per second. So this is the particular problem based on application of Bernoulli's equation. Let's try to solve this problem. So in this problem, a taper pipe, a taper pipe, a taper pipe like this, a taper pipe like this is there. Okay. In that here, this is your center line. And this is suppose your datum. So this is your suppose Z1. This is your Z2. Okay. So this is the section actually 1, 1. This is the section 2, 2. In this particular problem, the given data are the given data are here d1 is given d1 is 300 mm so let's convert into meter 0.3 meter then p1 is given 24.525 newton centimeter square that is the pressure at the section 1. So let's convert into meter 525 Newton into 10 to the power 4 Newton per meter square. Then at section 2 D2 is given 200 mm that is 0.2 meter P2 9.81 Newton centimeter square so let's convert into Newton meter per square into 10 to the power 4 Newton per meter square so this is the given data and rate of flow rate of flow is also given that is point that is actually 40 40 liter per second so this is actually 0 0.04 meter cube per second liter is converted into meter cube per second so from this as you know the continuity equation Continuity equation A1 V1 is equal to A2 V2. That is your continuity equation. And this is equal to Q, which is equal to rate of flow. So, here you can easily find out what is V1. V1 is point. 0 0.04 divided by a1 so a1 0.4 a1 is pi by 4 d1 square which is equal to 0 0.04 pi by 4 that is 0.3 meter square 
and after simplification you will get 0.5658 meter per second similarly you can find out v2 also v2 v2 is also 0 0.04 that is a2 so 0 0.04 divided by pi by 4 d2 square so 0 0.04 pi by 4 that is 0.2 meter square which is equal to 1.274 meter per second now we apply Bernoulli's equation we apply Bernoulli's equation so Bernoulli's equation as you know Bernoulli's equation we are applying Bernoulli's equation so this is P1 by rho g plus V1 square by 2g plus z1 is equal to p2 rho g plus v2 square by twice g plus z2 so here t1 is given 24.525 into 10 to the power 4 rho as you know this is water so it is 1000 into 9.81 plus v2 is also known 0.5658 to the power whole square divided by 2 into 9.81 that is your z1 So your section, this is section 1, for section 2 is 9.81 into 10 to the power 4 divided by 1000 into 9.81 plus 1.274 whole square divided by 2 into 9.81 plus z2. So after simplification, after simplification, you will get Z2 minus Z1 is equal to 13.697 okay, meter. So this is actually, this is the difference, this is the difference in datum datum head that is z2 minus z1 is equal to 13 point you can say 7 meter this is the answer of this particular problem so let's solve another problem in a smooth inclined pipe of uniform diameter 250 mm comma a pressure of 50 kilopascal was observed at the section 1 which was at the elevation of 10 meter at the other section 2 at the elevation of 12 meter the pressure was 20 kilopascal the velocity was 1.25 meter per second determine the uh, direction of flow and head loss between the two sections. The fluid in the pipe is water and density of water at 20 degree and under the pressure of 760 mm of mercury is 998 kilo, kilo per meter cube. Kilo, kilogram per meter cube. So here actually the density of the water is given which is not 1000 actually 998 kg per kg per meter meter cube so let's try to solve this problem 
so in this particular problem so here the pipe is pipe is uniform in nature okay this is your center line this is suppose data this distance is this is already given z1 this is suppose your z2 okay so for this particular problem for this particular problem the given data are your diameter d1 is equal to d2 is equal to given this is actually 250 mm so which is equal to 0.25 meter then p1 is given pressure at the section 1 this is your section 1 this is your section 2 50 kilo pascal so which is equal to 50 into 10 to the power 3 newton per meter square similarly p2 is also given 20 kilo pascal which is equal to 20 into 10 to the power 3 newton meter square and z1 is given z1 10 meter and z2 is 12 meter since it is uniform here v1 is also equal to v2 which is equal to 1.25 meter per second and density of water is given 998 kilogram per meter cube kg per meter cube now <coughs> in this particular problem actually what happened we have to incorporate we have to incorporate the heat loss right so now applying Bernoulli's equation so applying applying Bernoulli Bernoulli's equation so Bernoulli's equation will be as you know P1 rho g plus v1 square twice g plus z1 is equal to p2 rho g plus v2 square twice g plus z2 plus head loss <coughs> we have to incorporate this this is basically for the real fluid okay so if you put the value this is 50 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 998 into 9.81 plus velocity 1.25 square divided by 2g plus this is 10 this one 20 into 10 to the power 3 998 into 9.81 plus 1.25 square divided by this is uh, 2 into 9.81 2 into 9.81 into 12 plus head loss so this will go so ultimately will get the result that is the head lost head lost will be 1.065 meter so this is the answer of this particular problem now let's solve one problem based on uh, venturi meter so water at the rate of 30 liter per second is flowing through the through a 0.2 meter id that is internal diameter pipe a venturi meter of throat diameter 
0.1 meter is fitted in the pipeline. A differential manometer is manometer in the pipeline has an indication of a liquid M. There is a liquid M and the manometer reading is 1.16 meter. What is the relative density of the manometer liquid M? That is the specific gravity of the liquid M which, which is inside the, you know, that uh, differential manometer. Here, CD, CD is given, CD means coefficient of, you know, venturi meter 0.96 and density of water is given 998 kg per meter cube. So let's try to solve this problem. So here the given data are, here actually the rate of flow is given, rate of flow, that is Q is given 30 liter per second. 30 liter per second means 30 into 10 to the power 3 meter cube per second. Then D1 is given, D1 is 0.2 meter, D2 is given 0.1 meter, that is the diameter and the throat. And CD is given, CD 0.96. And density of water is given, that is actually 998 kg per meter cube and manometer reading manometer reading is given which is here actually the x x is given 1.16 meter okay so as you know the this source this source of a Venturi meter that is Q is equal to CD into A1 A2 divided by A1 square minus A2 square whole root over into 2GH that is the formula right so here you have to find out what is a1 a1 is pi by 4 d1 is square so this is pi by 4 point 2 is square that is point zero three one four meter is square similarly you find out a2 pi by 4 d2 is square that is pi by 4 point 0.1 meter is square which is equal to point zero zero seven eight five meter is square now you put the value now you put the value here actually in this formula you see q is given so q is given here q q is actually 0 0.03 cd is 0 0.96 into 0 0.0314 into 0 0.00785 divided by root over 0 0.0314 whole square minus 0 0.00785 whole square then into root over 2 into 9.8 into root over h so from this you will get actually what is h so let's find out what is h so h is equal to after simplification you will get 0.756 meter 
ओके सो बेसिकली सो वी एज्यूम दैट लेट्स एज्यूम दैट द डेंसिटी इज लिटिल बिट हैवी ओके सो दैट्स व्हाई we are using this formula h is equal to as you know x density of a heavy liquid and density of the lower liquid that is your water actually here this is the formula we are basically using so from this your a c is point 56 x is also given 1.16 and this is density of the liquid we don't know h and this water is minus 1 so after simplification of this you will get relative density of the what uh, this particular metal that this particular liquid suppose this is actually m this is used as put m okay this is m so after simplification you will get 1.648 so this is the specific gravity of the liquid m 1.648 that is the answer so let's solve a <coughs> another another uh, problem on venturi meter so this is a a 20 cm plus a into 20 cm into 10 cm venturi meter is inserted in a vertical pipe in a vertical pipe carrying oil of specific gravity 0.8 ओके फ्लोस इन विजिबिलिटी ऑफ पॉइंट एट फ्लोस द ऑयल इन ए अपर डायरेक्शन ओके द ऑयल इज मूविंग इन ए अपर डायरेक्शन द डिफरेंस ऑफ लेवल बिटवीन द थ्रोट एंड द इनलेट इज इमान फिफ्टी एम एम फिफ्टी 50 cm an oil mercury differential manometer gives the reading 30 cm of mercury find out the discharge of the oil so let's solve this problem so for this particular problem actually at first you know this is actually this venturi meter in a upward direction it is moving in a upward direction it is like this it is this like this okay it is moving in a upward direction so it is like this this is the convergent portion this is the divergent portion so here the diameter d1 is given why this is 20 cm so you can easily find out the area by by 4 that is 20 square so this is 31.314.16 cm square similarly diameter at the throat is also given that is 10 cm it is already mentioned this this is 20 cm into 10 cm this is the specification of the venturi meter so so diameter of the throat is 10 cm so area of the throat pi by 4 10 square so it will be equal to 78.54 cm square okay so in this particular problem specific 
gravity of the oil is given that is oil so it is 0.8 and the manometer is mercury so that's why specific gravity of the mercury that is which is this is actually 13.6 and x is also given 30 cm so in this particular problem your h your h is equal to p1 rho g plus z1 minus p2 <coughs> rho g plus z2 which is equal to x sz or sh divided by so minus 1 so your h is equal to this is 30 this is 13.6 divided by 0 0.8 minus 1 which is equal to 30 17 minus 1 so ultimately you will get what actually 480 480 cm of oil that is your h so in this particular problem the uh, <coughs> coefficient of venturi meter is not given so cd is suppose 1 if cd is 1 then you can easily find out the discharge easily find out the discharge which is equal to q is equal to cd a1 a2 root over a1 square a2 square root over twice gh so this is 1 into 314.16 into 78.54 divided by 314.16 whole square minus 78.54 whole square root over into root over 2 into 980 here we are considering all those <coughs> you know units are in cm so that's why it is 980 and 480 so after simplification your discharge will be 7 8 7 to 5 point 75 cm cube per second so you just convert this one into me liter per second 78.725 that is liter per second so this is the answer of this particular problem so let's solve one problem that is actually related to your orifice meter so one orifice meter problem water flows at the rate of 0 0.015 meter cube per second through a 100 mm diameter orifice used in the 200 mm pipe which is difference of pressure head between the upstream section and the vena contractor what is the difference of pressure you have to find out the difference of pressure between upstream section and the vena contractor of the orifice meter and other given data are coefficient of contraction that is cc is given 0.6 and coefficient of velocity is cv is 1 so here coefficient of discharge is not given with the help of these two coefficient of contraction and coefficient of velocity we can find down the coefficient of discharge of the orifice meter so formulas which are basically used in venturi meter and orifice meter are same so here discharge is given that is q q is 0 0.015 meter cube per second 
here d1 is given 200 mm convert into meter 0.2 meter then d0 which is the uh, diameter at the vena contractor that is in the orifice <coughs> 100 mm so this is 0.1 meter and cc is given 0.6 and cv is given 1 okay now you can find out here you can find out what is the area a1 suppose this is a1 a1 is pi by 4 d1 is square so pi by 4 0.2 square which is equal to 0 0.03142 meter square so similarly find out the diameter at the orifice of the orifice meter pi by 4 this is 0.1 square so which is equal to 0 0.007854 meter square <coughs> so here coefficient of this source coefficient of this source that is cd is equal to cc into cv that is 0.6 into 1 so which is equal to actually 0.6 for the orifice meter so the coefficient of discharge of the orifice meter is more it is actually less as compared to the venturi meter venturi meter is nearly about the order of 0.95 to 1 but where is in the orifice meter it is in the order of 0.5 to 0.75 now as you know the discharge formula of the orifice meter that is q is equal to cd a naught a1 a1 root over twice g h divided by a1 is square a naught is square that is the formula quite similar to the venturi meter instead of you know this is quite similar to venturi meter uh, a2 here we are using a naught <coughs> so q is given q is 0 0.015 cd we already derive 0.6 so point zero zero seven eight five four into point zero three one four two okay, root over two point nine one eight that is h so this were root over point zero three one four two square minus Point zero zero seven eight five four e square. So after simplification, we will get h is equal to h is equal to point four eight four. So eight four meter of water. So this is the answer of this particular problem. So let's solve one problem on pitot tube. As you know, this part of venturi, venturi, uh, you know, venturi meter, orifice meter, and pitot tube. They are they are they are based on Bernoulli's theorem, Bernoulli's equation. So Bernoulli's equation is applied in the pipe. That, that may be uniform or that may be taper or maybe in venturi meter or if meter even in pitot tube to find out the velocity of the flow so this is one of the problem it's a simple problem find the velocity of the flow at an oil of oil through a pipe when the difference of mercury level in the differential youtube manometer connected to tapping of the pitot tube is 
mm. Take the coefficient of the pitot to 0.98 and specific gravity 0.8. <coughs> So specific gravity of the oil is also given that is 0.8 so let's try to solve this problem so in this particular problem the difference in mercury level is given so that is the difference in mercury level so that is your x x is 100 mm 100 mm means 0.1 meter then specific gravity of the oil that is oil 0.8 and specific gravity of the mercury you know actually that is Z 13.6 you're supposed to know the specific gravity of the mercury okay you just remember this and coefficient of the pitot tube that is CV is given 0.98 so here this H that is the differential pressure head the differential pressure head H is given by those formulas are same actually those formulas are same okay this one but one thing you remember I will discuss about it a little bit about this this formula after solving this problem okay so this is 0 0.1 13.6 13.8 into 1 this is actually 0.16 meter of oil so velocity of the flow which is equal to cv root over gh so this is 0 0.98 root over 2 9.81 <coughs> into 0.6 so ultimately you will get Four five point four nine meter per second so this is the answer of this particular problem so there is uh, let's try to understand the relation between H and X and the other relationship okay <clears throat> so if you see if the differential manometer contain the water uh, liquid which is heavier than the liquid through the pipe if differential manometer liquid inside the differential manometer is heavier like mercury as compared to the liquid which are in the pipe then relationship between S and X will be this one this is heavy liquid divided by inside is this one so H is what actually specific gravity of the heavier liquid and this is specific gravity of the lighter liquid which is inside the pipe this is the formula if the process is reverse if differential manometer contain a lighter liquid and liquid through the pipe is heavy then H is equal to X 1 minus SL SO okay <clears throat> or you can say this is the lighter liquid which are in the YouTube manometer and this is in the pipe if it is heavier then this is the YouTube this will be this this is these two are the formula we basically use to find out the x i find out the h and x okay thank you very much i hope you understand the numericals see you soon take care